three terms that you're going to need to become familiar with if this presentation is going to be beneficial to you. I write a column for the star. I don't know if you guys get the star yet. Get the star yes. And then pull up. Uh, the business report, Destiny Magazine, I write uh, for a few other. I appear a lot. 702 Talk Radio, do they get that yet? Okay. I've been on Metro FM on a show. Um, and I do a lot of media. And I do a lot of media to, to position my brand. So the first term I want you to get in touch with is your, it's called branding. Branding is defined as positioning your story. Positioning your story. The second term is innovation. And I define innovation as letting go of your story to create a new story. Sophia in the Greek, which means passion for thought. So I'm really passionate about people, and I love to see people position their story to become successful. Now, all of us have goals. You guys have goals, I'm sure, and they're going to be different. We talked about them early when you introduced other people. But what most of us don't know is that if you position your story in the minds of the decision makers who hold your dreams in the palm of their hand, you're going to get to where you want to go a lot faster. If you're constantly being overlooked and undermined and taken for granted, you're going to struggle to get to where you want to go. If you ask the average woman, the women's equality movement began in 1846, where a number of women got together in France. They got tired of being overlooked and undermined and taken for granted. They got tired of men. You know that also in this man's world. But they got tired of that. They, got said, they said that we need to get together and expose our power to men. So they started what they call the suffrage movement, which means that they wanted to vote. And ultimately, the brand woman was very low. They were resigned to cooking and cleaning. They said, we don't want to cook and clean anymore, <clears throat> or we don't mind doing that. We actually want to be going to do a lot of other things. So they started a movement to build the brand woman to where it should be versus where it was. And throughout history, people have gone through various branding movements, what I call branding movements. Short people always trying to rebrand themselves. You know, women say, I want somebody tall, dark, and handsome. So if you're short like me, you're in trouble. You know, you want somebody tall, dark, and you like short people. You like short guys. You play, see? See what I'm talking about? <laughs> we are, so we want to brand ourselves as something uh, serious in your mind. So you have to work extra hard. So I want to share with you about a journey that you're going to have to take to reinvent your story from where you currently are to get to where you want to go. Okay? 